Late last year, the Museum of Arts and Design honored Bob King. He is the founder of Human Scale, and he received the Visionaries Award uh, for his prestigious designs and his pursuit of making complicated things simple. You may have heard on our Damien on Design show, Damien Farrell talking about Human Scale's chairs and other items they make for the office. And you use this in your own line of work. And welcome back to Damien Farrell. Thank you very much. As always, great to be back. I'm one of those people who I go for sight, first of all. It has to look beautiful. And sometimes I will take the pain <laughs> <laughs> of having to <laughs> utilize something that's gorgeous. But it doesn't have to be that way. It can be beautiful, form, follow, function, as well okay. as mm -hmm. comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sometimes when you make those sort of decisions, I describe it to people as, as it's a little bit like having a difficult child, right? You love your child, yeah. but you, you put up with it. And, right. and so there are times, I have to confess, when people <laughs> ask me why I designed it that way or why I suggest, right. I said, because that's just the right way to design that. Mm -hmm. you know. And yes, you are just going to have to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> Human Scale is a, a company like none other, really. It was the first of its kind, anyway, 30 years ago. It's the first of its kind, in my opinion. Uh, there are others that have tried to come close, but they are so unique and so utterly focused on their vision and their mission that it's it's breathtaking, not only to see how they've gone about it, but to live with their products. And um, I was the first person in Michigan to specify human scale products back in 1992. And I just happened to be doing some research on ergonomics for my office. Um, because it was clear that what I had was not working for our staff sitting for all these hours and this intense focus and concentration on doing drawings in our world. And we were starting to get complaints about back pain, myself included, and you know the, the, the little opening threads about uh, carpal tunnel syndrome and painful arms and so on. I did this research, found this stuff, and I was so sold on it that we fully equipped our office back then with the products as they had them, which was really a keyboard. Um, and those were the days of the huge monitors, right? You know, right. We stuck the monitor in the corner. So we had these um, gargantuan monitor stands that they had made. Um, so a keyboard monitor stand and chair was sort of where it was back then. Mm -hmm. Now our new offices are everything from a, a very unique monitor configuration and monitor stand that is off the desk. It's a thing called access rail. And the monitors hang off of that, which means everyone in, in an L-shaped workstation can move and locate their monitors anywhere that they want to. It's not I, just in the corner anymore. Not just in the corner. They, and I'm saying monitors because we use two monitors for our work for each person. Right. So it's the same for a single, obviously. So, so starting at the top from a monitor, which can be slid vertically into the right position to for people, those of us of different heights, it can be tilted, all right? You can put it in a V shape. You can also, with these articulating arms, push it away, get it out of the way if you don't need your monitor at the moment, mm -hmm. or pull it very close to you. So it goes from, from monitor to the monitor stand, creating completely open space underneath your monitors. So you have a space to work at. Exactly, mm -hmm. with nothing in the way, to your keyboard, which articulates in about four or five different ways, to your chair, which is, and there are several ranges of chairs, we have the, the top of the line, the Freedom Chair, so well named, down, all the way down to footrests. So we oh. even go as far as the rocking footrest that Human Scale has. Which how uh, how has this changed how you do work at Damien Farrell Design Group? Um, we have had in the ten year, in, in the, well, it's, so we went, did this in two batches. Um, within I, I'm not kidding, within two weeks of the chairs, or the liberty chairs arriving, mm -hmm. those of us with back pain, I've had two back surgeries um, in my, uh, from a broken back, a horse riding accident. None of us, the, the back pain yeah, went away. And we have a client right now we're working with, and they have a chair on test. And they have two people in their office who, with chronic back pain. And within two days of using the Freedom Chair, their back pain has gone away. I'm familiar with both the Freedom Chair and the Liberty Chair that uh, Human Scale, I think Liberty Chair may have been the, one of the first they did, but um, that Human Scale has designed. And one of the people behind this is Niels Different. 
my hero. <laughs> Who is Niels Diffrand? He's a designer for Human Scale. He is the. Um, I, I think he's the, the lead designer at Human Scale, and I sort of compare him to the Steve Wozniak of Apple in the sense that while Bob, who you just talked about, had the vision for the company, Niels is the person who has spent his life physically studying it. And what is different, in my belief, Niels as an individual versus the many ergon ergonomists around who've done um, tremendous research, like uh, Alan Hedge at, um, Dr. Alan Hedge at Columbia, um, is that not only did he did all the, do all the research, but they actually build and sell the product that supports the research. Mm -hmm. So every little piece of it they've thought about, you know, from, as I said, from the monitors, and what I didn't mention, the other thing was task lighting, which is part of their thing. So they don't build a workstation, they just build the ergonomic furniture. That last one was task lighting? Yes, okay. task lighting. Okay. Yes, task lighting. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. <laughs> don't lose that beautiful accent, please. <laughs> um, so they do, Human Scale does all of this, but what is it about these chairs that allowed people who had previous back problems to now not experience that sitting in these? The most, um, oh, and I should mention quickly that I am not paid by human scale. Um, I advocate their product very, very strongly, but I want to be perfectly clear I am not a paid representative of human but scale. But you found something that you like. But you I found something that I like. In your design. And we push the use of it. Mm -hmm. the, the main thing is, um, you know, we, we, when we go into a space and watch people working, the first thing you see is people perching. So they move to the front of their chair. Yes. All right, because, I do that. All right, well, and we do it mainly because our monitors are not in a flexible oh, position. Okay. Okay, the, the thin screen ones may be on a stand on the desk, and we, maybe we can slide them. Right. But we tend to perch. When we perch, we become very vertical. Right. And when we do that, we tense our back muscles and our stomach muscles. And so you start to induce a loading on your muscles. Mm -hmm. where, and if you don't get up often enough. With the human scale chair, it forces you to lean back slightly, and so that that relaxes your back and your stomach muscles. Your core muscles aren't all tense. <clears throat> aren't all tense, and your 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 fulcrum of your weight now is on your hips, and it's been taken up by your bum, which is designed to take our to, weight. To, right? To, to that, that's it. why. Yeah, there you go. Talk about ergonomics, yeah. right? And by the way, for purposes of our video audience, because you are recording this and post these on YouTube. We're not sitting, unfortunately, in these beautiful human scale chairs but today. But next week we will okay, be. Okay, we will be next, next week. Next week we will be, <laughs> yes. Um, and we'll be bringing in some of the product next week. Some okay. of the